Welcome to Mysterious Mars. In this episode, we'll be looking at observation ESP 0142871685, titled by the High Rise team as Boulder Tracks on the Slopes of Noctis Labyrinthus, which means Labyrinth of the Night. We're going to be doing a couple of episodes on this particular observation because there are a number of diverse and interesting things going on within it. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on the boulder tracks. For those of you who may wish to view some of this imagery on your own, this is the place in the observation where these tracks are found. Just a note that when I use the term observation, that means the entire image set. What we're looking at here is in fact a number of image strips that have been merged together to make it look like one image. This is referred to as an observation. What I'm showing in these videos is always sub-images from the larger observation. So what are all the various things that make tracks on Mars? There are generally only two things that I'm aware of that do this, boulders and dust devils. Here is a dust devil in action as covered by the high-rise camera. It's pretty cool that they are able to capture a live one. Just for reference, this is what dust devil tracks look like. Note how the tracks appear darker than the surrounding terrain. This implies that the disturbed material is darker in tone than the undisturbed surface. So now let's take a look at some boulder tracks by looking at some from a different observation than the one we'll be focusing on. We're doing this because the boulders are clearly visible in this observation, whereas they aren't in our target observation. And I want to prove to you that it's definitely boulders making these tracks. We can see some boulder tracks in this image. Any dashed line indicates a boulder track. One of them even has this boulder visible. If we pan upwards, we'll see some clear example tracks. The boulders are the dark and shiny roundish objects. So now we have direct evidence that it is boulders making these tracks. With that out of the way, we'll now return to our target observation. If you're wondering why the boulders make these tracks, it's not very complicated. Think about when you're building a snowman in your yard. You're pushing a big snowball through the snow and it makes a trail. It's the same concept here as rolling boulders or just pushing surface material aside. The reason the tracks consist of dashed lines is because the surface isn't completely smooth, so the boulders tend to bounce as they roll down the slopes. This creates a dashed line effect. The thin, delicate tracks and the thicker tracks correspond to the size of the boulder, and small boulders make finer tracks, and big boulders make the thicker tracks. One thing that's really interesting about these particular tracks, and that we see very well here, is how wonderfully straight they are. As we pan back up the image, notice how the track on the right consists mostly of dark segments, while the other tracks are mostly bright segments. This is a little odd, I'm not really sure how to explain it. With the dust devil tracks, the disturbed material was darker in color than the undisturbed material. What exactly is the material in these white patches? And why does it look different than the surrounding material? I don't have the answers to these questions, but if anyone has an idea, please feel free to comment below. 
In this image, we have the most interesting set of boulder tracks in this observation. There's a bit of a puzzle here in that we have what appear to be a couple of almost right angles. The angle on the right probably isn't remarkable in terms of how it was formed, but the one on the left is. If we think about a boulder bouncing down the slope, it would have to make a very sharp turn. A boulder rolling down a slope would have a lot of momentum and would only in theory be able to turn through a curving path. How is it that this boulder made such a sharp turn? My only guess is that the contours of the terrain right at the turn is such that it was able to steer the boulder into that sharp angle. If anyone has any thoughts about how this could work, please comment below. The reason I wanted to have my first episode be about boulder tracks is because it illustrates the mystery around a simple thing such as lines on the Martian surface. We've now seen lines made by dust devils and the more interesting lines made by boulder tracks. The problem we're going to be running into is that there are other kinds of lines present on the Martian surface that can't be explained by either of these things. In future episodes, we'll be examining these sorts of lines in depth and seeing what we can sort out about their nature and possible origin. When we view satellite imagery of Earth and we encounter larger scale straight lines, we know pretty quickly we're looking at human activity. When we see this kind of thing on Mars, we thus have a mystery that we'll have to try and sort out if we can. That's all I have for this episode. In the next episode on this particular observation, we're going to take a look at a number of strange surface features found throughout the observation. Unlike the boulder tracks we have examined here, these features aren't as easy to identify or explain. So please join me for that, and thank you for watching.